Welcome back, all you fabric in the flesh bags, to the super not funny show reviews. And today I'm reviewing Abbott Elementary Season 2, Episode 9, entitled Sick Day, coming to you from ABC streaming on Hulu. So, what did I think about it? And should you be watching? Before we start, get down there, hit the like button on this video. Sick Day is all about Janine being out. Uh, due to self-inflicted uh, harm, eating a, a tuna melt that had been sitting out too late, getting a terrible case in the runs, and a substitute shortage forces uh, Principal Ava to, you know, actually do her job and try to find out someone who can be the substitute teacher. All the while, just kind of, you know, being Ava and doing things her own way. Uh, and so this is an Ava-focused episode. And for the B-plot uh, we have, because, uh, you know, Janine's gone, the break room's a little different, and uh, Barbara and uh, Melissa seem to be uh, a little more receptive to not having their, uh, their kind of high-strung uh, co-worker around. Uh, it seems kind of messed up, uh, but how did that turn out? Um, all, the, all the way around, uh, <laughs> for J this, this being a Ava episode, it's pretty great. Uh, you know, people have always been uh, liking the fact that, you know, she's kind of like, she's messy as hell. Let's just call it like it is. But she kind of, you know, speaks her mind, snaps at everyone. And she's real, you know, she's all, you know, all about the hustle and everything like that. So what's going to happen when she has to hustle to actually, you know, do something good for uh, Janine's uh, second graders? And uh, what it turns out to be is, you know, after trying everything else, trying to get anyone to, to come in, trying to, uh, you know, get some another teacher to kind of look after her kids. Um, and after, let's just say, ignoring Janine, which, by the way, in this, uh, you know, Janine, she's kind of off camera, but she's very much sick and still trying to be Janine and be positive and do her thing. That's all fun. That's all fun stuff. I mean, it's, it's you know, poop humor, uh, but it's played very well and very, uh, you know, amusingly. And so, you know, big ups to Janine for that. But really, Ava realizing no one's going to come to the rescue. These kids need somebody uh, to be around. And that, believe it or not, Janine's actually a good teacher, and she's got a, a plan that will work for, uh, for uh, the class. And so this is really a, about seeing Ava for who she really is, which is she's not a bad person. She's very much a selfish person. And when it comes to it, she does ultimately want to do the right thing. And... Also finding out, hey, maybe she can actually, you know, do this job uh, in, in terms of, you know, stepping in and helping out a teacher that, that just can't be there. And that she may have a connection with the kids and more to the point that she can respect, you know, Gregory's uh, advice that he kind of, you know, takes her aside and is like, hey, you know, you got to step up. You got to do your thing here, you know, and no more playing around, actually, actually, you know, be there for these kids. And when she finally does, you know, respect Janine enough to do her job, you know, to do to follow the plan, you know, everything works out and everything, you know, looks good. She said, oh, it was easy. And, you know, that's just Ava's, you know, the, you know, kind of offhanded way of sort of complimenting Janine. And I really loved all of this. I think Ava getting like a real, you know, a real feature, you know, she's, she's had, you know, really good moments, but this is a real feature moment for her getting to see more of her character. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Janelle James just killed it in the whole episode. Uh, we ho hope we see more of uh, Ava-focused episodes. Uh, as she kind of, you know, it gets uh, involuntarily molded into actually being a, a great principal, I hope. So that's that was all cool. Second part was okay. It was mean, actually. Uh, Barbara and Melissa basically... Uh, bonding with another teacher who doesn't like Janine and all her, you know, all her talkativeness and everything like that. And really kind of throw her under the bus a bunch well, when they talked to her, which is, I didn't really, I, I kind of looked at them sideways because, you know, yeah, they may think she's annoying, but to sit there and trash her to somebody else was kind of messed up. And, you know, good on Jacob for being a bestie and, and kind of sticking up for her. Um, but also pointing out throughout the episode, yeah, that this, you know, this new woman, Tasha, you know, she may be, seem cool or everything and they want to hang out with her. But also, you know, she, she doesn't bring to the, you know, teacher's lounge what Janine does. Now, she, 
just she wants to fix things. She she wants to help out. She's, you know, positive and, and starts conversations and everything. All of that good stuff. And so it was kind of fun for them to realize that, hey, you know, she was someone that they that they would miss. Uh, and like I said, Jacob being the bestie there. And, you know, cool to have that teacher, Tasha. So now we see some of the politics at Abbott that there are definitely people who don't like our main characters. We've seen, you know, Mr. Mr. Morris, the, the eighth grade science teacher, and now we see uh, Miss uh, Tasha, which I don't even know what she teaches, but she doesn't like uh, Janine. So it's it's interesting to see the, the different characters that they kind of float in like that. But overall, really love this episode, just on the strength of how much Ava was featured and all the fun stuff she was doing, and, and I, that it really uh, made me love her character even more. So I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, but what did you guys think about this episode? What did you think about what I had to say? Get down to the comment section. Let me know your thoughts there. And, of course, you can always hit me up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnyS1 on Twitter. And don't forget to get down there, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. All those things help with the algorithm so more people can see these videos and this channel. All right, all you Fabric and the Fleshbacks, thanks for joining me. Come back next week for episode 10 of Abbott Elementary. Until then, I've been Malte Poupe, your resident fabric and comedy extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace. Mm -hmm.